All right, Sketch Pet Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about Donald Trump getting a 9-0 from the Supreme Court when it came to his being kicked off the ballot. We'll be back, Sketch Pet. What is it? you like to subscribe hey man if you want to donate cue cards on the screen right now you see that donate sketch pad youtube has demonetized us uh through adsense full disclosure we don't know what's going on with it but we're gonna keep this thing going and hey we're trying to meet your um reach a million subscribers but we're gonna watch this real quick from fox news talking about trump winning his case with the supreme court let's go now we roll it, folks. This now is a Fox News alert and reading this. The U.S. Supreme Court rules in favor of former President Donald Trump in his appeal of a Colorado ballot disqualification. That applies to Colorado and all likelihood it will apply to other states as well. Live to Shannon Bream for her initial analysis and reaction now. Did you have the inside word, Shannon? Hello. Okay. So what we have from the court this morning is this decision in favor of President Trump. They essentially say the judgment of the Colorado Supreme Court that he could be kicked off the ballot in this manner does not stand, has to be overturned. Now, it's a per curiam opinion, which the Latin for that is sort of the court speaks. It's supposed to be sort of a unified voice. But we do, as I'm looking through here, have some additional uh, folks who wrote, Justice Barrett, and I believe Justice is... Uh, Sotomayor, Kagan, and Jackson, they write concurrences as well. So they may have gotten to this in a different way, but I don't see any dissents here. So it sounds like the court as a whole is agreed that whatever happened with Colorado, it was not the proper framework to use here. There is discussion at the end of the main decision that says, you know, there would be essentially a patchwork across the states. This was one of the worries that the justices had and the questions that came together in argument were, what happens if we tell one state they can do this? The chief justice said, what if one state decides, okay, I'm kicking off a Republican, another state, state says, okay, I'm kicking off a Democrat. And then we get down to just a handful of states that actually have all of the candidates' names on the ballot. What would that do to this country? So it sounds like the majority of the court has come together in this voice to say, what happened in Colorado is not correct. It sounds like they're saying states don't have this power, but essentially this is something that should be left to Congress. And so they agree to that point, but but how they got to these different positions, how they got to the agreement, they found some different maps there, but they got to the same end result, guys. So ah, yeah, man. All right, so so the court has spoken. And the court has basically unanimously said that Donald Trump cannot be removed off any state ballot for a federal election. So the states can't take his name off the ballot. But see, there's a deeper issue that I have with this is because everybody's always talking about democracy, 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 democracy. That's the that's the buzzword. For all the leftists and all the Democrats now is democracy. But they're trying to take democracy from you when they take Trump off the ballot. How are you going to say this is about democracy? But at the same time, you're trying to remove a candidate that everybody wants off the ballot. Whether you say he in, in, he in, in uh, he incited an ex insurrection or whatever. The, the charge doesn't make sense. First of all, he doesn't he didn't charge for insurrection. Let's just be clear here. I don't know why people keep saying insurrection. Donald Trump hasn't been charged for insurrection. No one that January 6th has been charged for insurrection. Not one of them. Mm -hmm. And secondly, how can you insurrect yourself? He was still the president. So how can he insurrect himself? Wouldn't he be going against himself? If it was an insurrection. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't yeah. make sense. So 
what, what, what really kills me about this whole, this whole situation is nobody wants to just be honest and say, you know what, let the people choose who they want to be their president. And if they want Trump to be the president, that's what it is. I don't understand why y'all getting so butthurt over it. They people are literally coming out and saying stuff like, because the Supreme Court sided with him, they need to burn in hell. Wow. As if, as if Donald Trump is the worst person on the planet. I think it's like, what? I, I, I'm just maybe I'm maybe I'm not following. Maybe I'm maybe something's wrong with me. What has Donald Trump done that is so bad that these people want him and whoever follows him to burn in hell? What has he really done that bad? Like, don't get me wrong. He says some crazy things. You know what I'm saying? But be honest with me, right? If you pull out every president ever, you literally can name off the things that a lot of these presidents did, right? But what has Donald Trump done so bad that you people on the left is telling whoever follows him need to burn in hell? What? Obama bombed countries and, and killed kids. Let's just put it out there. But no one says he, he whoever follows him need to burn in hell. George Bush. They bombed the wrong country. Killed millions of people. But no one says that he whoever follows him need to burn in hell. I'm just not understanding the whole logic behind the left. And there's so need to try to destroy whoever follows Donald Trump. If the people want him to be the president, who are you to say they shouldn't? This is what they want. This is why we have open and fair elections. You got a hundred cases against this man. Why? So you could try to remove him from the ballot. It has to be a reason to, to me. And this is just me speaking. He's fucking up the money for them. This is why they don't want him to be president because he's fucking up their money. Even some Republicans. How's it How's he how's he messing up the money if you know what I'm saying? Like him himself, he's 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 a businessman. Like if anything, he's bringing in bread. You know what I mean? Just his presence alone. So how is he messing up the money? Like what is he doing so bad that's messing up the money? He's telling the truth. So the truth is messing up the money. Like okay, so I explain how he's messing up the money for them. Yeah. See, they used to kickbacks. They're used to countries extorting money and sending money's places that building a bridge to nowhere type money. You understand that mm -hmm. whole term? You know what that means? Building a bridge to nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying like, okay, you're building a bridge, but for what? Bridges cost a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? Or more. Mm -hmm. That's what the term building a bridge to nowhere. So what, what, what happens is he comes in and he regulates, says, listen, you're going to start paying your fair share. You're going to start paying your fair share and you're going to start paying your fair share. The United States ain't going to be paying for this. But see, when you got corrupt politicians in the mix and what they do is they funnel money through different countries. So mm. when they say, when I say he's fucking up the money, he basically coming in and regulating and saying, no, the WHO, y'all got to pay your fair share. The United States is not going to be keep paying five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars to these other countries and when y'all when they not paying and then and, and we're doing more this is what he's saying so what i mean by fucking up the money for them that's what that means all of these outlets all of them are advocating against donald trump for what what did he do that was so detrimental to america tell me what that's the question I have. If you want to say that he did some things and said some things, okay, cool, whatever. But there, every one of them said things. But tell me how he is so detrimental to America. Why? His first term, things was booming. Things was great. 
Mm-hmm. Now you get in here now, and now you're trying to point the finger and say, oh, well, you are tr- trying to scare people into voting for a guy who literally locked up a lot of black men trying to vote for this guy. Saying, mm-hmm. oh, well, democracy's on a ballot. Well, what about those people back in the early 90s? Was democracy on a the ballot then? Was fairness out there then? This is what kills me about this whole situation when they talk about when they talk about Trump. Now, as far as the Supreme Court goes, it's it's three or four, I believe, three or four justices that's the, that it, they would consider left leaning or liberal. All of them voted unanimously. So if they all said that you can't do it, how are you upset when you say that at least one of them should have said he should have been taken off the ballot? Is this never happened before? How are you gonna t- how are you how are you gonna remove a candidate off the ballot that hasn't been charged for for a charge that you're trying to say that he should be removed off the ballot for? You're trying to remove the man. That's like you saying, "Hey man, you going to prison, and I'm and 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 and, and I'm I'm gonna charge you, even though you ain't charged. I'm putting you in prison for stealing, and you never stole anything." But they just want you, they want people to believe that you did it. Yeah. So they keep Paint on saying the narrative. Paint the narrative. Yeah. You keep on saying that he that he was an insurrectionist. And how? When he wasn't charged for it. Why do you keep saying that he's an insurrectionist and he hasn't been charged for insurrection? I don't understand it. Why do you keep saying that? You know what I'm saying? You right. can't call OJ a murderer if he was acquitted. That's it. He's not a murderer. You can't say he's a murderer. The justice system said that he was innocent. So how you keep calling him a murderer? That's what I don't understand. So I know it was a long rant, but I had to get that out, man. But anyway, the, the it was a good Supreme Court said what they said. So go ahead, brother. You got it. Yeah. Um, like I said before, like, uh, you know, people don't like the truth. People don't never like the truth. And I think that's part of the reason why they're trying to uh, screw Trump. You know what I mean? With everything, because he's very vocal about his opinion and his opinion makes sense. It make, it, It's the truth. It's the truth, you know, like he might not be so politically correct, like everyone that that has covered the United States, but you know what he says is accurate. What he says is accurate. You can't be, my thing is that with people is that you can't be picky and choosy on who you want in the office. It's either, it's either one or the other. You know what I'm saying? Like people hold so much energy against Trump but they don't. But they have even lesser energy against Biden, and Biden has been called out on his stuff plenty of times, and people don't even take, don't even people don't even take Biden serious. They take Trump more serious than anything, which I feel is not fair because like, Trump ain't the president at the moment. It's Biden. So why are we? So why are we? Why are we uh, wasting so much time and uh, efforts? on trying to get people to, you know what I mean, and trying to convince people for a vote on one side where it's clearly like he's going to get it by a landslide. It's clear. It's clear. What was it, like 47 to 45? You know what I mean? I seen something like that on on, on Facebook about uh, Trump or whatever. I don't know what, what it was. I don't know if it was a real ballot or whatever, but... It said 47 to uh, 45. So that's what it said. So listen, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? People are going to move how they move and act how they act. You know, it's, you know, the hatred for Trump, I don't understand it neither. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm the big quote unquote Trump fan. When he was in office, uh, things economy wise was a lot better. Mm-hmm. That's all. Well, I'm gonna say this, and then we get out of here. 
Um, you just got to be, you right. You got to let people decide and choose what they want. Mm-hmm. I'm so sick and tired of turning on the news and I keep seeing them openly saying you should not vote for Trump. I don't mm-hmm. understand what is the vis- Wasn't there a rule against that before? Yes. Was it? it's not a, it wasn't ever a rule, but it's basically an unwritten rule. Like, you don't supposed to say who you're voting for. But mm-hmm. see, now it's gotten to the point where Trump has so much power and he flipped... Like Obama, when Obama first came in office, Obama was a genius because Obama, he started the internet looking at politics. Mm-hmm. Young voters, he was the one that went on the internet first because politicians didn't know nothing about the internet. They wasn't up on that. Obama mm-hmm. did that. You know what I'm saying? And now Trump took it to another level. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He took it to another level mm-hmm. because People will argue with me about this, but Trump is a way more popular president than Obama is. I just think that Obama had more of an impact at first because he's black. You know what I'm saying? But when you're talking about infamous, you got infamous versus famous, and it's not really Trump's fault for being infamous, but you got infamous versus famous. Mm-hmm. The infamous sometimes are bigger than the famous, but you got two, you know what I'm saying? But if we're talking about uh, if we're talking about like a following, come on, man, it's no comparison, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I know he has a, he has a very strong following. His so following it, is very. And it's strong. not even my thing is it's not his following is is not just MAGA. That's the thing, and this is what they're not saying. This is what they're not telling people. It's not just MAGA. It's not MAGA that follows Trump. It's more than that. The mm-hmm. average everyday person who don't say it probably likes Trump, but they just don't want to say it because they don't want to feel villainized and demonized because they make you feel guilty for liking Trump. I'm listen, man. Yeah. You know me, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm cool with it, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you know me, man. You know, he's my, I'm with it. Is he, is he, uh, is he I'm one of it. the, uh, Few presidents that have like a sneaker. Which is I don't remember. I said I don't remember the other presidents ever having a sneaker. This guy got a sneaker. Trump. Well, I mean, we talked about that already, but still, in yeah. all, like, all I'm saying is, and I don't want to make this episode too long. I'm just saying. Listen, the, the Supreme Court struck it down. You can't remove the man off the ballot. Next, let's see what's going to happen next. But yeah, man, Scratch Pack, we out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man. We go.